Hey, my spooky little weirdos. This is a video topic that I didn't know if I would actually do. This topic has been on my mind for a while and I really didn't know what I would say about it until now. The question posed in the title of this video is something like, should you be God? Now I can understand why some of you might have a problem with that question. Chris, I am goth because that's how I feel on the inside or something like that, right? It is important to consider the phrasing of this question. Should you be goth? I am not asking you if you should wear all black and heavy eyeliner and listen to gothic music and fill your house with bat shaped and coffin shaped memorabilia. That is not what I'm asking. I am asking if you should identify with the title of goth. This is a video I wish I had heard when I was getting into the goth subculture. It is a video that wasn't around and so I'm gonna make it for you. Most of you don't know this, but I considered myself goth from the age of 12 to the age of 21. Now it's important to note, I didn't just wear all black and dye my hair black and call myself goth. No, no. I went the whole, whole distance. I did trench coats, platform boots, eyeliner, lipstick, nail polish, all of it. As some of you might know all too well, dressing goth is not easy. From everything costing a fortune and having to DIY most things yourself, you do get the occasional jerk off who glares at you and calls you names. Things like emo and school shooter that we've all heard a million times. There are some really nice people out there that will stop you and say, hey, I really like your look and that's really cool. So I'm not saying that this is a reason not to dress like this. Dress like this if you want. I'm just stating the reality that a lot of us have to deal with, or in my case, had to deal with. <laughs> the issue for me and the thing I wish I was told while getting into the goth subculture is that you should never, under any circumstance, form your life around a label. Labels are given to you for other people to make sense of you, not for you to make sense of yourself. This point that I just made, I want you to hear that again because it's very important. So you need to hear it again. I'm gonna play it back one more time. <laughs> Labels are given to you for other people to make sense of you, not for you to make sense of yourself. People are uncomfortable with what they don't understand. And so they'll try to categorize you in order to make sense of you. If you focus too heavily on trying to fit into the label that other people are giving you, you might, as in my case, start missing out on other areas of life because they don't fit into your new identity. Whether it's listening to a song you really like that doesn't fit in with the genre of music other goths are listening to, or it's playing a sport outside that yes, might ruin your pale complexion, you might start opting out or even, even worse, convincing yourself you don't like these things anymore. I know this isn't gonna be the same for everyone. I know goth people now that do all the things I just listed above and still consider themselves goth. Uh, not everyone is gonna have the exact same experience. I am simply saying this for the impressionable young people like I was that needed to hear this other side because I don't think it's talked about enough and it's a real thing that happens. When I was growing up, I was weird, obviously. I enjoyed card tricks and making cringy YouTube videos. Not exactly the golden path to popularity, I must say. I also grew up listening to alternative rock music and I would try and dress in darker clothes when I could. My favorite holiday was Halloween. And every time I'd go to the mall, I was drawn to the alternative stores, you know, Zoomies, Tillies, Spencers, Hot Topic, those stores. So little old me, Trotting along, never had a real solid group of friends before, meets my first goth person and starts to think, you know what? Maybe that's for me, which isn't a bad thing. But the problem came when I started being made fun of for enjoying normal things. I used to play football. I used to wear blue jeans. I used to enjoy listening to country music. So as to fit into my new group, I stopped doing those things. Ironically, because I cared what people would think about me, even though I convinced myself I was doing this because I didn't care what people were thinking about me. Strange, right? I missed out on my opportunity to play football in high school, and I'm never gonna get that opportunity back. And I did this because if I had played football, I wouldn't have fit in with the alternative kids anymore. 
and I didn't really fit in with the popular football playing kids either because of all the weird things I listed before. So I figured that if I had done that, I would have been completely alone. When you make big decisions like this that alter the course of your life, you almost feel obligated to own these decisions no matter what. No one likes to admit when they're wrong or that they've made a mistake. And so we almost double down on these decisions. Pretty soon we find ourselves boxed into a corner where the only people around us are people that have no clue who we are. There is a toxic side to the goth subculture, along with most subcultures actually, this elitist mentality where if you do this or you don't do this, then you don't fit in. At the end of the day, I thought all goth is supposed to be is love and appreciation for the darker things in life, not hatred and disdain for things that aren't the darker things in life. To this day, I still wear all black most days, but now my playlist is also consisted of The Platters, NF, Keith Urban, as well as The Cure, Croc Ongren, Cradle of Filth. I listen to whatever I want, whenever I want. I basically also dress however I'm feeling at the time. I have an obsession for horror and filmmaking, as well as going golfing with my friends and hiking with my little dogs, which are right here. That's Ember. I don't know where Timber is. Oh, he's on this side of me. There's Timber. <laughs> At the end of the day, just be true to yourself. Don't let what other people want or don't want for you navigate you in any direction. Find out who you are and what you like. And if something feels right to you, don't give it up just to fit in. Also on the flip side, if you start acting against other people's suggestions, as I did out of spite, that is also allowing people to control you. So consider this next time your parents try to get you to play sports. It might not be that they're trying to control you necessarily. It could simply be that they see that you're gonna miss out on an opportunity that you might regret later. So stay true to yourself. Think about what you really want because I don't want you to miss out and neither do they. Thank you for watching. <laughs> if you enjoy spooky stuff, please check out the rest of my channel. Uh, we got all kinds of spooky stuff. Me and my friends have put together some short films and stuff you might enjoy. So check that out. Thank you for watching. Tell me what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.